Let's have a look at futures up for the Nasdaq. That's the big point today, a 50-point gain right there. Look who's here now. David Barnson joins us. David, I always like your, your uh, dividend picks. They've always been good for me. So why don't you start with Lockheed Martin, which I think is your dividend pick number one. Go. Yes, it's one of the only names that uh, took a drop here in this last uh, earnings season. And so we like the entry point. You can come in at only 15 times earnings, a 3.5% dividend yield, but they've grown that dividend 12% per year for 25 years. And national defense is not an industry that's going away anytime soon. H&R Block. Yeah, it's a tax advising unit that a lot of people are familiar with, but they started buying a lot of other companies and getting into other spaces, and they were losing a bunch of money. They started selling off those assets. There's new management, really have revenue growing in the right way, a 4.5% dividend yield. The stock was up over 6% yesterday. We really like H&R Block. And that dividend is secure. I mean, it's not going to go away or be reduced anytime soon. That's right. They have solid earnings to back the dividend. And that's one thing I'll always say is we don't buy companies unless the dividend is secure by cash flow. Well, four and a half percent works for me. Now, I know you've got a new book out. The title, I believe, is There's No Free Lunch. My comment would be you don't like socialists, do you, David? Well, it isn't that I uh, not only don't like socialism, I, I don't like the idea that free enterprise is being misrepresented. It's being presented as sort of an ideology of greed. Um, I, I believe that we have got to defend free enterprise morally. We've got to make the claim that it is the best system for the human person, and it's created the best opportunity for flourishing. I believe God created each person with dignity, and the book tries to make an economic argument that's rooted in that philosophy. So individual liberty and freedom are required until you, to, get, to bring you real prosperity through capitalism. You've got to have individual that's liberty right. first. There that's right. It's a condition for flourishing and for unleashing the creativity of the human spirit. Humans are made with a lot of capacity for being creative and for being productive, but they have to be free in order to do so. Believe me, I noticed the difference when I went from socialist England in the 1970s to capitalist America in the 1970s. What a difference. <laughs> what a difference. Mr. Barnson, you're all right. We'll see you again real soon.